Watch me cold drive this into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone's in water. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone's in the water. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that happen? Why in the world? Give me that towel. <laughs> Uh, I think it's good, right? <laughs> it's literally mud is packed inside. Oh, my phone's in the water. <laughs> oh, it still turns on? <laughs> it's, good. It's, not, it's not gonna charge, that's for sure. I hope the video got it like flying out of I my know. pocket. I don't think, I'm just trying to get the water out. <laughs> Cause the whole lake yeah, got in. <laughs> yeah, just checking out the Pro Tour's Instagram and so they post this, feature card trivia. What is one meal that Gannon Burke could eat every day? And I was trying to answer this and I literally got it wrong. Apparently it's Subway sandwiches. Over pizza somehow. I, I literally got it wrong. I don't even know how that's possible. So, turns out I just got back up to the room after doing some laundry, opened the door. Homeboy's doing Smashbox. <laughs> so, and uh, I still need a shower, so I, my bag is the other side of the room. Thought a sneaky army crawl. And uh, it turns out I was on camera the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Great A, embarrassing moment. But they can literally see you. <laughs> you're, you're not, you're, you're not hiding from anybody. <laughs> Got some sticks, ran back and forth, burnt my hand like an idiot. Got it up and running. Ooh, hot. Good to cook steaks. Let's go get the steaks. Go to get the steaks. No steaks. Hmm. I bought steaks. One burnt hand for nothing. Now I at least have a giant ice pack to cool my finger. What happened with the steaks, man? Yeah, so yeah, like, it was kind of unfortunate because like the grill, like we had to light on fire and it was tough to find the sticks and everything. So yeah, we just had to, I don't know, wait a couple minutes to get the steaks going. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're gonna need it to be a little bit hotter than usual because <laughs> the steaks were a little, uh, let's just say 300 firm. It's honestly Gavin's fault, man. I thought he was a good dad. Just didn't tell me what to do with the steaks and I put them in the freezer because he said it. Don't they have to go in the freezer? I was like, they're in the fridge at the grocery store. Yeah, but the fridge at the grocery store is 32 <laughs> degrees. It's colder than normal. Thanks for the steak ice cubes, buddy. Well, do we should do a challenge eat the steak ice cubes. <laughs> mm. Oh, Rick's <ricochet. laughs> What do you have to say about that? <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That's un. Believable. That is so stupid. Oh, record shot. Okay. So, hole 17 today. Throw my first shot OB, throw the second one right in. So, I'm putting for bogey from about. Yo, bogey, man. From about like 30 foot putt, death putt, man. So I'm lining up. I'm like, all right, really gotta do this. And I lean back, and apparently, I'm like really heavy. <laughs> He's and really so heavy. My, my I foot checked. just goes. And it goes like this far into a hole. And then, and then to you out there who said this, they said, Yo, good stop. I was like, yep, thanks. Thanks. Good thing I didn't putt. It's <laughs> definitely one of the best stops I've had. If there's ever a good stop to be had, it's when your foot is this far <laughs> under the earth. Me and Gannon are here at a local course plan. Uh, it's full of amps today, and it's taken it's taken a really long time to play, but. Uh, you guys wanna play through? If it's cool. Yeah, that'd yeah, be great. That's fine, you guys are cool. So smooth. Thanks, guys. Gannon has a bunch of extra discs he's trying to get rid of and he's flying home. Gotta set him somewhere, you know? Man, no one should miss this, right? <laughs> it's not illegal to do this, right? Just... Oh, we got a couple more. I'm probably a couple more just <laughs> with no autograph. Do you expect people to pay for unsigned putters? Give me a marker. I don't got one. All right, so I found a stack of uh, Gannon Burr Signature Series PA3s. They were just sitting next to a cardboard sign on the ground and I didn't really see a price tag, so I Venmoed him uh, a penny, and I said thanks for all the discs. Um, and then I got this text message. <laughs> didn't pay the correct price. So I didn't see a price. So yeah, I, uh, so. yeah, got some new putting putters for the off season. It's gonna be great. Some really pretty ones right here. It's a steal of a deal. So Isaac went to sleep, and he was like, "This one went to sleep." So hopefully, hopefully he's still like that. That was like two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs>
It's a little confusing that when I opened it, there was no air in it. It was just like, it kind of seemed like it was already open and then resealed with a hair. Man, it says something that's actually true though. You disc win percentage zero. You disc win percentage zero. Laybok, what do you think about the fortune cookie Ganon just opened? <laughs> <laughs> that is 100% accurate. <laughs> Oh, hey, are you guys working out in here? Oh, what's up, Silas? Yeah, we've uh, we've been trying to work out every day, just kind of getting into a routine. Oh, is that something you guys picked up in the off season? Or you... Uh, yeah, we definitely been trying to focus more on health this week. Um, me personally, I've been working on like my nutrition and just overall, you know, my eating habits, trying to make them a little healthier. Gannon's really been able to help with that. He's been able to just kind of pick out some foods for me to focus on and eat every day. Yeah, I think the most important thing that he's taught me this off season is just how to start off the day healthy. The recipe he's given me, it's his favorite protein shake he's been taking for years, and it has what he thinks is the most important thing for disc golf is it's sugar. It's really been night and day for me. It's helped me a lot. Yo, that's very cool. Gannon, what kind of stuff have you yeah. been implementing in this yeah, off season? There you go. Over the off season, I've been working out a lot. Um, actually, I went to this gym the other day, and uh, this guy, I think his name was Zeza, something like that. Um, yeah, I met him there. He actually turns out he's a pro disc golfer as well, but I kind of tell, I just, I felt bad for him. You can tell he's, he doesn't know what he's doing at all. And, uh, you know, what kind of, just look what he's doing. He's, he's not doing it correctly, and he's not very strong either. I mean, I, I got him on every every level. I mean, I'm, I'm throwing up 450. He can't even, he can't even put the bar up. Yeah, I think, I think he's got potential to, to maybe be as strong as me one day, but, uh, you know, for now, I, I think he needs to uh, probably go online and look up how to do some of these workouts. Uh, you know, me, me and Alden are kind of pros at it now. We've been doing it for... At least, at least two weeks. The last workout I do is this one. That's kind of helps with my putting. For sure, getting it out in front of you. Okay, that was in. Can we agree that was in? <laughs> no! No, no, I get a replay. Watch it back! That 100% was in. No, 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 I'm replaying. This doesn't lie. It doesn't lie. It's not going in. Ganon gets a four. He's probably gonna be pretty upset. It wasn't in the basket, so. He could have put it at a different time. No, I'm I'm taking a three. I don't care what you say. You got a four. Really? You decided to repot, so that's yeah. another oh. stroke. This is like a six. You, you better mark it. me down as a three. Yeah, I got you marked down as a three. No, <laughs> mark me down as a three. For you. No. For me. No, no. Give me it. Drop my phone. Oh, oh. You're gonna have to buy me a new phone. You have to buy me a new phone. <laughs> What? <laughs> Hello everyone. As most of you know, Ganon loves his Legos. I decided to go to the store, get one of the same sets he has. It's one of his favorites. And we are gonna sit here, it may take all day, but we're gonna build it and we're going to replace it with his and then destroy it in front of him. Let's get started. All right, we've completed it after four hours of work. We have the Statue of Liberty. We're here at Gannon's Lego collection and trophy collection. We're going to replace it with his, but we're also going to draw a face on it. So, I will draw a face. <laughs> I can't do it without laughing. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, all right, and now we replace it with his. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's perfect. So I guess we'll I guess we'll bring him over here until he notices and then I don't know what we're gonna do from there But we gotta hide this one Show us your Lego collection then or your trophies too man. Come on, come on let's go. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Okay <laughs> So this is my first bus trophy from Vegas last year. Tell about some of your Legos man. Oh, uh, so we got the Taj Mahal. Worked super hard on this one. This one's like 2,000 pieces. It's probably my biggest one. This is the uh, Great Pyramid of Giza and you can pull this up and it shows like how they got the bodies in there. And then we got yeah. the space station. We got... <laughs> Yo, the Statue of Sadness. <laughs> Um, Sorry, the man. Excuse me, what happened, man? It's a little sad, man. Uh, as, surely that's not permanent marker. <laughs> yeah, what happened to him, man? Just, just come with me for a second. This is what's gonna happen. Okay. If you don't make 20 putts from 30 feet, it's getting smashed. In a row? In a row. It's getting smashed in the concrete. How <laughs> 25? <laughs> no, 30 feet. It's just, it's just accepting it. I hate to go smash this, man. Better make your putts. One. Two. Twelve. 13, 19. All right, I guess we'll just go smash it then. What? <laughs> well, I made them all. No, 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 I can't do it. Oh, stay back. I hope I don't, I hope I don't just. <gasps> Yoink. <laughs> no. Do whatever you want.
Look at the injury. <laughs> that was a hundred dollars, I hope you know. Was it? Yes. Oh man. I thought, I thought if I made the 20, 20. Yeah, that sucks. Man, that sucks. I thought for sure you were gonna do it. Mom, I gotta show you something. What? I gotta show you something outside. Just go put it back. Um. <laughs> Hold on, what's, go what's going on? <laughs> How long did it take? Four hours. <laughs> was your plan to have me miss one of the 30 footers? We figured you would make them, but we were just going to throw it on the ground anyway. See, I'd make 20 30 footers yeah. in a row. <laughs> Shouldn't we have a broom somewhere, somewhere, right? <laughs> we're going to pick this up, and I'm going to find pieces like so long from now. <laughs> Congrats on wasting $100 for a dumb 20 second clip. So I've come across a video where someone had the word perchance, and I've been saying perchance after everything lately. But we're like, what is perchance necessarily even? Like, what's how do, it? How do we use it? How properly? do we use it properly? And the definition of perchance is by some chance, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> we dare not go ashore lest perchance we should <laughs> fall into some snare. So by some chance, perhaps. See, that seems redundant. So it takes out like five words, condenses it down to one really dumb word. I like that, perchance. And so now, the next time one of us has an interview, we have to sneak the word perchance in. The very next evening. Well, thank you for joining us. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Perchance. Perchance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> It's like not loading, did it? No! <laughs> oh, it's, wait, did I close the door in time? Look, I think I did. We're gonna take a quick detour to Acadia National Park. Gavin here is trying to find a place to hike, and I think he may have found the perfect place. We're doing the Precipice Trail. This short, tough hike features a steep climb, numerous climbs up metal rungs and ladders, and short walks along narrow edges. Uh, as you dangle from the cliffs, <laughs> Several people have fallen off from the cliffs and died, so this trail is not to be underestimated. I might just overestimate this hike. We underestimated the hike. We're out of water. We each have one bottle of water left. I have a bag of double G beef jerky that I think will only make me more dehydrated. <laughs> Overall, should be uh, should be a good time. Glad I brought my ladder. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is insane. This is a normal hike. These things are kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach. I hate heights. But it's good. It's good for the soul. What exactly benefits does it have for the soul? Well, you could just die if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What just happened? I spit, I spit over the edge. Could have just smoked someone in the forehead. Doing this excruciating hike. And then you get a big old thing of spit to the forehead. I, I would just around. jump off. <laughs> oh, slick rock. Oh. It's crazy. Oh, that is slick. See your van down there. You can see it right there. There it is. Nice solar panels. <laughs> I've never seen them before. <laughs> I think that's where we started. Where Alden almost died. Honestly, someone could trip over these. <laughs> it's a bit windy, isn't it? I know. And then you have to get real sideways right here. <laughs> you made it. We're here. Man, it's been happening all Man, day. It's been happening all day. Of course it has to happen on the last in the last little stretch. It would only be right. Yeah, help if I put him in sports mode, but it's not comfortable. Ezra, what's uh what's going on back there, man? Well, I was just minding my own business, eating my cookie and drinking my drink, and Alden went over a bump and the whole bed cracked in half. There is no longer a bed. In Perfect. This no bed, no bed for Alden anymore. Man, it's one of the best drives we've seen in the hole, you know. It's impossible to mess up. Right, Terry? Excuse me, what? I Why mean, are they replaying it? Out of his hand. This just looked terrible. 
Jeez, Terry. We got a little gun game going on. We got a... And a mega noob. Lucky, bro. Every time I kill him, it's going to be harder and harder for him to get a kill. Ooh. Too easy. Oh. We got a game. Oh. I swear I shot you. With, uh, with player of the year on the line, they're really, really <laughs> going for it all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, no. suck at this game. Come on, baby. Uh oh. See. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is there like riding a subway? What just happened? I don't. I was really trying to do that. Half nerd. No! <laughs> oh, why would you reload? Oh, I don't know how long it takes. Why did it take so long to reload? Why did it take so long to reload? That took 10 seconds to reload. You go to your house, I'll go to my house. Go to that house. Wait, where, where, where are you? Which house am I trying to go to? I'll wait till you get to your window. This is not fair. I have a, <laughs> all right, all right. I have a left window. Right, ready? Three, two, two one, pop one, go. Dang, I give up. Okay. <laughs> so why is the hitbox bigger than how far I can hide? What? What? Oh, what? Oh, that was nasty. Oh, that was the luckiest thing I've ever seen. There's no way that just happened. Uh -oh. Oh, no, no, let's go, no. let's go, let's go. <laughs> Come on! Slice him, ready? Slice! Oh, but I lose? <laughs> How is that possible? Alright, we're at Alden's brother's softball game. I have one chance, one opportunity to make, to make my statement on the world. I get one at bat. I'm the sixth batter in the order, so... You know, I'm, I'm really expecting probably about a four foot hit. And if I get anything better than that, I'll be okay with that. I really want to be a pro baseball player in my next couple years. So, hopefully today I can make my mark. I knew for a fact that wasn't a strike. <laughs> Ain't no way. What happened? Um, I got scammed is what happened. <laughs> I was waiting for a good pitch, and that was the crappiest pitch of them all. Uh oh. I'm, I think I'm getting redemption, but I don't have a jersey. Let's go! I'm the goat! I'm the goat! Oh, whoa. Dude, I don't like heights, dude. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know if I can do this, dude. Dude, no. I don't know. I'm so scared. Dude, go! I'm scared! You're gonna fall. I don't like heights, dude. I'm gonna... Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going a little bit out. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy the view. This is crazy, dude. It's so high. Jump. My palms are sweating, dude. Look, feel my palms. <laughs> They're soaking wet. Dude, I'm so scared. Here, you just walk off. You got it. I'm scared. You're not gonna fall. Dude, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Don't push me. Okay, okay, I'm almost to the edge. I'm good. I did it. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dude, I'm like, I'm in heaven, I think. <laughs> Tarantulas are crawling around. The, yeah, the tarant. Oh wow, there's a big one. Close, close, close. <laughs> How am I supposed to fight this? Go! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! That Joker was big. Oh gosh! <laughs> Not this again. I gotta go into the phone. Hello? 
Ha ha, didn't get me. Oh! Oh, God, dang, I thought I tricked it. Dang it. Oh. I thought I was smart and grabbed the phone and came back. Welcome back, everyone, to the Alden and Gannon Show. Today, we have two amazing guests, newly crowned world champion Kristen Tatar and Rochester champion uh, Ezra Robinson. Uh, he fell through, so now we got Isaac. Uh, welcome, guys. Thanks for having me. Glad I could fill in. So, Kristen, first off, congrats to being a two-time world champion. How does this uh, win compare to other big wins this season? Um, it felt amazing. Uh, definitely one goal off the list again. So, yeah, I'm just uh, over the moon happy right now. It's awesome, awesome. Amazing win. Isaac, in maybe two to three words, just describe your week. Yeah, you know, it started out. That's enough. Really yeah. Well. Um, Gannon, do you have any stats maybe for I us? I do. Kristen, 100% circle one and circle two putting for the week. <laughs> Very impressive. Just let us know, like, what was, why were you so good from putting it was, it this was week? Phenomenal. Yeah. Just, just tell us. I mean, it was. It felt amazing. Uh, I feel like uh, I could not miss from anywhere. Everything was just working. I was in the flow. It was just perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, great response. Uh, Ezra's brother. I'm not sure if this is an error. I don't think it is on the U disc, but zero percent circle one and circle two. I did notice that. Just, yeah. just roll the clips of the putting. Playing for his fifth GMC title. Isaac. Whoa. What? Whoa. What do you have to say about those? Guys, I, I made some putts. Like, I, I definitely made some. What? I mean, you just says did you, zero. Did you watch the videos we just rolled? So half of those look like they weren't even from Worlds. I, I don't they, know what they're doing. You missed them. I mean, yeah, like a year or two ago. I don't do that anymore. So Isaac, round four, hole one, hit the backpack on your drive. One of the greatest breaks in disc golf history, in my opinion. Gannon has a few stats, I think. Do you have anything? Yeah. Um, just let me look at my U-disc real quick. Okay. The highest score in the hole, hole one, was an eight by Gavin Babcock. Hmm. Interesting. But the stat is, if that didn't hit the backpack, he would have proceeded to take an eight. Out of bounds tee shot, out of bounds second shot. Then throwing five, I mean, obviously he didn't make a single putt, so that's probably the only reason you win Worlds. I thought, I thought it was a perfect shot. I think okay, that's enough. Keep it short. Yeah. It was, that's um, enough. So, Kristen, you had just so many amazing shots out there. What do you think your best shot was? I mean, honestly, just dropping it in on hole 18 and taking the pressure off of myself and claiming yeah. that world title. That was, that I, I don't know. The, the stats show that. That actually cost you 1,000 rating. No. What it, no. Don't. Get out. You're gone. And turn Bob, what come you, here. What do you mean? No, you're gone. I'm stat man. No, though. you're I'm gone. Just, you're gone. Can't ask those questions, Gannon. Get out. Hey, get that's, out you don't say stuff to our guests like that. All right, after that absurdly rude uh, question by Gannon, do you have any uh, questions for us, intern Bob, or stats? Yeah, I was kind of hoping I got brought in. Isaac, that layup on 18, how many rating points do you think that costs you? I just I, asked that. I think at least six or seven. I, I think I would be almost 1050 if I hadn't. Laid it up, a very bad mistake on my part. Yeah, Statmando over here showing possible eight points. So, so uh, real congrats to that. Last question. Um, Kristen, do you think you could be Gannon in a fight? I mean, yeah, easily. Um, definitely easier than winning my world titles, for sure. Yeah, no, I'd agree. Kevin, do you have any stats for us there? I mean, it's, it's matching up. Uh, it shows 99% win probability for Kristen by that's, knockout. That's it? Seems a little low. I that's weird. I know. I want to check those. Uh, Isaac, same question. Think you could beat Gannon in a fight? I, I think it'd be pretty pretty easy to. I mean, I like to think that I could. You just win percentage for Isaac Robinson coming in at a steamy 14%. What? By unanimous decision if he does get the job done. I don't I don't know who chalked this up. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you all again for coming on. We loved hearing uh, Kristen's thoughts. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and if you want to support us any further, subscribe to our Patreon, where we will be showing the full fights go down, and you will not want to miss it. I just missed my, like, 28-footer to make guarantee myself on league card on hole 18, and I'm like, dang, man. I got interviewed. I'm like, I'm not going to make the league card now. I just had to birdie out, like, the last four holes, and he birdied 14, 15, 16, 17, I think, is what it was, and all I do is birdie 18. I want to make the league card. I just came off a really rough ledge stone, and I'm like, I got to do something, so I text Isaac, please, man, I need this. And then he proceeds to bogey 18, and now he's on third car. <laughs> kill you. What I knew, man. You messed me up. Did you see the text? Yes. You said, I hope you bogey 18. That's not what I said. <laughs> no, I didn't see it until I tapped out. Oh. Which was, might be a little worse because I was mad. 
And I saw it, I was like... Did you think it was a little funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is that? That's it. Um... Alright, we're gonna go check this uh, out. Okay, so we got some Cheetos. We're just gonna kind of toss them at them, see if we can get this person to kind of lure out and entice them. Who are you guys? Hey, what do you want? It's us. Yeah, you're your friend. It's Cheetos. us. What are you doing out here, buddy? Thought you were Who back are, home at the What are you States? doing here? Who are you guys? Listen, we're your friends, okay? You're scaring me, okay? Uh, get away. Who's over there? Ah, ah, ah. Just let me explain. Just let me explain. Let me show you around a little bit. Man, I love this place. My beautiful wife, Greta. She's She's been a trooper since through all this. Welcome to our home. Home, sweet home. This is how we come home for 17 years. I'm not sure what this is, but I plugged it in here. No signal. I can't get the internet. It's been man, 17 years. 2006, I think, is when I crashed here and haven't had any signal since. Food has been scarce. I've had to scavenge for. Oh, well, don't you know? Bagel bites are done. Hey guys, my gift to you. Welcome to my home. Guy with Cheers. the Cheetos, take them. Take the bagel bite. Where'd you get that? What is that? What? That right there, right there. Backpack? No, that back there, the glass thing. What? What is this? Is that the Idlewild Trophy? Oh, the LWS Open. Yeah, I was able to shoot 32 under par. We actually had to finish round two in the dark. Circle two putting was really good there. Four in a row to start the final round, and man. I love this trophy, man. This is one of my greatest accomplishments in my career so far. Third Elite Series win of the year. And you've just been here ever since? I'm not sure who Idle Child is, but <laughs> I got this trophy. Gannon, how does your TV have power? Um, it's plugged in. Plugged in. What? Plugged in. What is it plugged into? Yeah, it's just plugged in back there, guys. I'm going to show you around. Mm. All right, let me show you guys my power source. Here we are. See how it works? That does not produce power. Sure enough, it does. Pineapples don't do that. Hmm? That's a pineapple? Let me explain. Look. Right here. That's the power. <laughs> what do you guys, what is this laughing you're doing? How's a pineapple work? What's inside of that? What do you mean? It's a power power source. What, it, what inside of it produces power? Well, let me show you. See this? Let's take it over here. I'll show you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going There it is, there's the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> final question before we leave you to it. Spit out, final putt to tie the record. How's that feel? I gotta come clean, guys. I moved out here and put on a fake persona because I was so upset that I couldn't beat Isaac or tie even tie his record. Stupid Isaac, stupid course, stupid record, stupid game. So I moved out here. Are we gonna see you at Deglo next week? Absolutely not. That that's that's the worst course. All right. Well, uh, I see hate D Glow. Okay. Hate it. Okay. Bye, buddy. Bye. I hate D Glow. Okay. Bye. I hate D Glow. Stupid Isaac. Stupid Isaac. Stupid Isaac. Look what you created. This is my fault. Yes. You are causing serious trauma. Stupid Isaac. Welcome everyone to the first annual miniature soccer champions cup championship on one team we have isaac nate and luke on the other team we have nice pass the one and only kevin jones <laughs> i think we're doing first to three <laughs> two one you guys are funny you ready? yeah two. <laughs> all right get out of here good job good job Game. What are we going to? Three. <laughs> Crap. Oh my god. Uh oh. Get out of here! Let's go, Nate. Oh no. There you go, Nate. Oh, get a loop. Oh. Oh Is it 
three on one. Let's go, Nate. I feel like I'm I'm happy. <laughs> Let them. <laughs> they had me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. So we're catching a, a ferry from Turku to Stockholm because we have another tournament there. And in a Instagram post, Ezra announced to the world that we are taking a ferry spelled F-A-I-R-Y. So Ezra's going to be riding a ferry and we'll be taking we'll be taking the boat to Stockholm. <laughs> How does that stay in? Am I making spaghetti tonight? What time is it? 8.30. Um, I can. Well, you said that last night and we went to bed hungry. <laughs> well, we can. It just won't be till like 11. We can, but it won't be till like 11. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, love you, bye. Really thought she would say, no, I don't want food that late. <sighs> well, these aren't gonna fit. <laughs> we have to boil the water first. I don't even know what I'm doing with these. I should not have opened them. <laughs> Nate, how did we turn on the oven last time? Oh, there it is. I think we need to wash this first. It's just butter. Butter adds flavor to the meat. Right? Can I have my medium yes. rare? <laughs> perfect. Why is why they all stuck together? Where'd my fork go? Oh, this section that'd be perfect. Uh, that's I mean the noodles mostly, mostly in the water. <laughs> Salt in the water. Because I've heard that's what you do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. The noodles are fully submerged, so we're making progress. All right, those noodles are still a little crunchy, but most of them are done. Next step is dumping tomato sauce into the meat. I hope this is spaghetti sauce. I hope it's not like salsa. And that will wrap this episode of Cooking with Isaac. And uh, let us know if you want to see more and what I should cook next. Should I text Ezra? Yes, tell him dinner is ready. Hey, I heard you guys were cooking spaghetti. You Smells a little funky in here. What is this? Rabbit stew? Perfect. Um, one of those noodles is not cooked very well. Yeah, no, I totally understand that. Yeah, eating thin slices of bamboo. <laughs> Wait, if you listen close, you can probably hear the crunch. All right. Oh my God. <coughs> Did you salt these at all? It tastes unsalted. <laughs> I don't know if you salted them or they assaulted my taste buds. Mm. First of all, I tasted wood <laughs> from the noodle tree right here. <laughs> is just what is this supposed to be? One noodle? Is it? I will tell you the bark adds flavor for sure. You really did the salt. So you rage cooked. <laughs> You've been rage cooking noodles and little dried worms. Yeah, but what do you uh, what do you throw on? 17. On down. 17, I throw eight full power drives because it's a million feet long and a par yeah. four. I got one. Super, yeah. super warm, right, guys? <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the first annual snow tic tac toe battle. We have purple and blue. Our competitors today are going to be Isaac Robinson and Gavin Babcock. Let the show begin. May the first annual snow tic tac throw off. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Once the board is set, no going back. <laughs> <laughs> that that square is gonna be so. You got a little judgment. Obviously, some strategy. The snow tic tac toe is different. It's not just a perfect square. In in snow tic tac toe, you have to land within the boundaries of the square. Then it also has to stick into the snow. <laughs> Good. Good for you. Mm. Oh, Queen. on the board. No. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have to try a new strategy, I think. Oh, oh. no. I could clutch up. Bobby for the win. Stick it, guys. Stick it. No. Oh. <laughs> I think if I hit anywhere else other than that same spot, <laughs> that sticks. No. Oh no. <gasps> I think no. my I think my poor my poor pinsman shit gave me the win. Because the line goes like <laughs> That's the cleanest tic tac toe you've ever seen, right? <laughs> That's terrible. Your game? That's two out of three. <laughs> Crater Lake whirlwind challenge.
No, get up, please. <laughs> that was unbelievable. It was like spicy. How's your off-season been? What you been up to? No, it's been good. Been on the grind. Been working out, eating healthy. Uh, how about you? It's been good. I've been dieting, working out, practicing, of course. Trying to lay off the sugar. Yeah, of get course. Shape. So. Is it weight? You want to you wanna weigh ourselves on the scale over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. It's not bad. It's really not that bad. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. You can hop on? Yeah, I'll hop on. Yeah. Better, better than I thought. All right, so a couple weeks ago, Portland, I let Gannon throw some of the discs out of my bag just, just to see what he could do with them versus me. About 600 feet away is a little pond. So I don't think that I'm in danger of losing any of my discs from my arm. Gannon goes Kashkushi with my favorite destroyer in my bag. And it flies infinitely far, right in the middle of the water. Well, I'm laughing about it because I was like, that was actually kind of fun for me to see a disc fly like that. Pretty impressive. But, you know, go get my disc. <laughs> He's looking in the water. Apparently they see it but he didn't want to get in the water. So it was just left. He's like, I'll get it tomorrow. Next day I message him, did you get my disc? No. Next day, any updates? No. <laughs> and so we just go back and forth. So he says, well, I'll go and we'll just pay some amateur to go in and get it. So finally the tournament's over. I'm like, are you gonna get in the water? He's like, oh, I was going to, but now I don't see the disc. So we got his disc. He left behind his favorite D1 and we're gonna see if we can make him sweat a little bit. <laughs> Yo, buddy, I'm gonna need you to look at the screen for a second. Does, uh, yeah. does this look familiar? Oh no. This is gonna be the saddest day of my life. We're gonna leave things to chance here for you, Gannon. I'm not gonna throw it in the water. Well, not intentionally. But we're here at hole 16, there's an island. There's a lot of water around, yeah. It's a little stable, it's a little stable. A little stable, okay. I can't even really see anything, so I need some audible. I need some walk through the shots. Oh. Oh, it's no. low. <gasps> You're gonna get your disc back. Skipped up to parked. <laughs> <laughs> but that was Alden's disc, and here's yours. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how similar those two fly. Oh, it's actually oh, it's money perfect. shot. Get in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you want that thing back. <laughs> You made it pretty quick. Listen, I tried bidding on an AJ destroyer. This guy messaged me with nine pictures of destroyer. I just, they just didn't look beat up. I asked if they were flippy. I don't want them to be flippy. I want them to be stable. I want to work them into that play. I had to put one of my freshies in the bag. You want to throw that one in the water too? We can test the luck real quick. <laughs> give me my disc. Immediately give me my disc. Please. Let's see, let's see if it really loves me. This could be the biggest regret of my whole life. It's an upward win. <laughs> Goodbye. Just read out very far. Don't try this at Goodbye. All. <laughs> Wait, that's safe, right? That is a big one. Surely, because Isaac that's says, yeah, that's safe 100%. OB. Yeah, he is way OB. Yo, why am I so and, confused? Uh, certainly a potential double bogey upcoming. Oh, potential. <laughs> you just back. wait. Gonna go to wait. the Spike Kaiser. Surely, this should be a good shot, right? Surely. Oh, no. Oh, so it should be fine, right? Like oh, let's just roll OB, why not? So now we're looking at a triple bogey. I have to make it 80 foot of a triple bogey right now. Are you serious right now, bro? Just got redirected off that tree and hit. But you said two minutes ago, I was unstoppable. Let's see a Simon impression. I got ego really good. It's always just like doing like ram crap like this. It's always just like... <laughs> it's very 
very accurate. Okay. I have to fall through down. So why That's you? Not what? Oh my God. What? Why? Like zero. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? I got. I got the eagle. I got the eagle. That. That is so accurate. Holy cow. And the luckiest stick ever. That's typically you. What's up? We're here on hole 12 at the Jonesboro Open. As you see, it's definitely a bomber hole. We got distance competition time with one of the furthest throwers in the world. Might be the furthest. Myself, Ratana, and Alden. So here we go. We're going to see who can put one out there the furthest. Let's do it. I've been working on like this pretty crazy run up. I think, uh, I think this is where I'm going to debut it. Here we go. It's called the, the slingshot. Here we go. Big disc. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty it's like, oh, in the oh, roll. It did get a little bonus roll. <laughs> 360. Oh, Miss Mando. Just gotta focus on the gap. <laughs> that was pure. Oh, the two meter rule is in effect. All right. It's not bad. Well, I can only see one right now. <laughs> Eagle, I think, is last place. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Why does it say seven feet? <laughs> Damn. 15 feet. <laughs> Where? Oh, Alden Smash Town. <laughs> Ow! Look how far you are. He's on like eight's green. That's at least like 40. I guess we have a winner. There you go. You got first place, Alden Harris. Second place, Gannon Burr. Third place, not really surprising, Eagle McMahon. And fourth place, Ratana. Thank you to all of our competitors out here today. <laughs> Big prize money for the winner. All right, we are out here, hole one on West. We are doing the blindfold challenge. Alden will be instructing Gannon essentially where to throw. I'll be instructing Ezra. We're gonna line them up, hand them the disc. Then they have to, by themselves, rotate one time, and then they're off. They gotta throw. The blindfolds will stay on the entire hole. They'll have no idea until they tap out where they are. What do you want to throw, a forehand? Uh, I think we go for a backhand smash. All right, the gap is right here. I feel right. so wrong. I feel do like it's right there. Do your spin. Here we go. Yeah, get no! It. Throw baby Annie right here. Oh, you guys spin? And then you tell me what to do? I don't think I can. Yeah, Why yeah. are you doing a warm up? Stop. <laughs> I don't want to run off the side of the T-pad. No, you're not. Oh my gosh, that was not Baby Annie, that was so much hyzer. What? Annie. That was so much hyzer. Did I throw LB? God, scale, sorry, I can't see anything. Oh, you're gonna walk me off a cliff. No, you're good. Go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go ah! home. Ah! It's like one that escaped from again. <laughs> oh, reverse spin. We went the other way this oh, time. Oh no, that doesn't feel right. Where'd it go? <laughs> Oh. Might be in the bunker. No, you're fine. That's Over so in the right. Good. <laughs> okay, you're lined up right at the basket. So, I, so I think if you go orange raptor stop, right stop. there, I think you're, that's gonna be good. I'm not allowed to say anything. He said. Really? Well, I mean, I haven't moved from where I was initially. Oh my <laughs> gosh! I don't know if you ever crossed in bounds. I, am I way left? <laughs> Is it that way? No, no. You cross. He cross. Oh, yeah. You're up here, bit. How's it going, Ezra? Uh, it's going bad. I've, I've filmed two shots OB. This feels like an OB steak. I might still be like 500 feet from the basket, so that's I've gone straight I left. I don't time. trust you throwing a forehand. I don't at all. trust anything. I'm going, okay. I'm going purple. Oh Just, my gosh. No? How far are we? We're far enough to where you need it. Into I, the wind? I mean, hey man, it's your decision. Can we go backhand? Can we go backhand? Yeah. It it's your decision. I'm just the shot guy. Flat and smooth. We're going flat and smooth here. You don't have to rip it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my feet. But it has, it has to. Wait, that's not going to work. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh what a tree kick. We're safe. We have an upshot. The fact that you can't tell me what. Am I spending 400 degrees? <laughs> so you can hear my voice. You have to like base it off my voice. You didn't say anything after I spawned. I don't know why we're not my, my, yeah, my shot yet. Fight right now, buddy. <laughs> Slow down. Get in there. This is a stock A2 shot. Hey, basket's there. You want to throw about there. Okay, so throw I, I got it. Right. I, I got All it. Right. Incredible shot. <laughs> He's got a par one. <laughs> You're like circle's edge. He's got a par oh, one. <laughs> you want this to be a standstill throw backhand? Like, give me, give me 100 feet. 100 feet standstill backhand. Dude. This is the most important part. Sit down. 
Sit down. Sit. Sit. We got an easy putt. We got a putt. We got I, I, a putt. Your first alignment, I don't know what happened, but you corrected yourself. I was way left. Right? No, you were way right. Oh. <laughs> so this feels like I'm walking back to the tee pad right now. <laughs> that, that is directly at the basket. I'm, sorry, I'm like just inside the circle? Yeah. We're safe. We're safe. We're, We're fine. fine. Wait, where'd I miss? <laughs> Left. <Yeah>. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, that is unreal. To see again. My, I feel like my senses got heightened. Like my, my, my imaginary. No, this is a tie. This is for triple. You guys tripled. I'm um, uphill, so I'm close. Like, a, like fake pot, so I can kind of see how you. Where your alignment is. Okay, you're also first off, you are ten feet away. Okay, give me give me uh six inches to your right. It's not gonna matter what he's Yes, yes, okay, feel that. You need a good spin here over there. Yeah. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Gain and I just got done playing an F7 round at uh, Las Vegas. We're about to head to the memorial, but uh, something tragic happened. We've lost a loved one today. He's going to be missed by many. We're out of Las Vegas just playing F7s, like you said, and threw a shot I've never thrown before, and Alden was like, yeah, just aim for that patch of birdies. <laughs> and I ended up throwing it right where he said to aim, and uh, a life was taken, specifically by this disc. And uh, today we're going to make a memorial for Mr. Coot. Fly high, man. Fly high. Put a helmet on him because, you know, that way he won't get hit in the head anymore. Gannon asked me to draw something on his disc and see if he likes it. Why is it so good? We're at Taco Bell. What time is it? It's 937. <laughs> oh, that dog's not happy with me. But Elton's van is, it will not make the Clarence Elton proof. Arcton proof. It's normal to stand in line at night. The unfortunate thing is, me and Silas have done this many times. Isaac's normal. <laughs> guy. With a normal life. With normal friends and normal family members. It's normal. That's what we are. We're normal. Because we're standing in a drive-thru at 9.45. We're normal. I mean we're not normal. We're normal. We're normal. See, let me show you something normal. <laughs> <laughs> For the comments, what do you guys get at Taco Bell? Hello? Keep Hello? Up. Do you think this has anything to do with the fact that we're not in a vehicle? Can I get, uh, sorry, one second. Um, I know I had like five minutes to look, but I'm, I'm stalling. Um, can I get one order and there's of the three soft tacos? Seven cars by. Three soft tacos supreme. Gotcha, so you didn't want the beefy crunch burrito combo? Uh, oh crap. No, uh, we did want that one. Yeah, and then you got the two cinnamon twists. So it's normal to be normal. It's normal to think about normal things and then do normal things. So we're doing a normal thing right now and that's what being normal is. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do some hot sauce. Okay. Isaac's normal. Isaac, what are you? Man. Okay. What, what, uh, but like what kind? I don't know. I really don't know where you're going with this. Like what is, what are you? How do you act? Uh, mature. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked about this for like 30 minutes and apparently he's not that. Great. Just like normal. Am I normal? No! <laughs> He's normal. Look how, look how normal he is. I'm normal. He's a normal guy. He's a normal guy that does normal things with a normal life. He's normal. And that's normal. Alden's not normal. Let's go. Stuck. Isaac's had this on his hand for the last three hours. Alden, how does it make you feel? I hate it. And it won't, it just, can't come just, off either. <laughs> oh, come on. It's his hand. Nice to meet, it's nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Just rub, Just rub the it crystal off. ball. <laughs> His hand won't come out. Come on. You're gonna break it. You're gonna break the stupid thing. Get it off. <laughs> you're gonna oh, break it. Right. And you're gonna owe the hotel money. Well, then take it off. You're gonna break it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we were just in the kitchen whipping up some food yesterday, and next thing you know, this super loud noise comes out of nowhere. Bobby, what's happening, man? 
because we tried burning the hotel down by cooking food. Near death experience. Near death experience. And then we decided to go bowling later. It's at a movie theater, so we just checked out the popcorn machine. And for some reason, that's also on fire. Oh my. Oh. Near death and experience. Yeah. Another near death experience. And the next thing you know, Bobby got hot with the pins. He literally caught on fire and it always comes in threes. Another near death experience for this guy. I'm safe. <laughs> well, we're trying to film this stupid skit. You'll see the clip right here. Alden, it's over here, man. Oh, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Did you actually hurt it? Yeah. Did you turn off, turn off, turn off. I knew there was a curb. I was just, we were trying to film a skit. I was calling Alden over. I misstep. I, it rolled so bad. We're gonna go probably get it checked out somewhere. So I hope it's not too bad. We're here in the waiting room. Um, waiting to get it checked out. How's it feel? It's getting a little bit worse. I just hope I can play in a, in a couple months. Hopefully it's really bad. So we just got our x-rays done. Again, it's not feeling great, but they said they're sending their best doctor in, so hoping he knows what's up. Good morning, Gannon. I'm Dr. Robinson, the head surgeon of Clearwater Medical Center. Looking at your x-rays, it's not looking good. The leg is broken clean off. I'm, I feel like it's just rolled. Regardless, did this happen to DDO? No. Well, then what happened to DDO? Just got bad breaks, I guess. Yeah, it's a pretty bad break. I guess, I guess a roll. Well, how did you roll? <clears throat> I was like, I was going down the stairs. No, actually, no, I mean, the roll on 16. How did you get so lucky? Single skip from. And look at this action. They, it seems like if you come in with too much hyzer, it'll hit the hill and then a roll will be right. So if you like skip it further right, it kind of hits the hill and rolls straight instead of right. Okay. Wish I had known that. Um, all right, well, I'm just going to check some things and make sure it's looking all right. So how did you actually hurt it? Some of the stupid skit for this dumb YouTube channel. My shoe kind of gave away and I just rolled it really bad. Well, judging by the x-ray we have here, it's not looking super good. You might be out for several weeks. I don't think you'll play for a while. All right, so obviously the ankle looks pretty bad. It's broken pretty much in half, but also your putt is broken. What happened on the first two holes in Des Moines? I was just thinking about my poor, my poor doctor and I just started to think what he does and he just he's not good at putting it in the basket. Yeah. Des Moines was your hometown. You wanted your, probably your last tournament you'll ever play. Seeing that it was a two-day tournament, you know, it really doesn't count. I think it does count. Right. Well, here's your I still beat everyone. There's 10 in there. Take one a day for 10 days, and uh, I hope to never see you in here again. Did you use a two for cheek? against a much tougher competitor this time. Yep. Oh, 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 there's no chance. I need to play right. Guys, look here. Boom, boom, boom. Cue ball, bang, bang, bang. Make it in there. <laughs> I tried putting some side spin and it did not work. That's definitely the yeah. best content I've ever seen. Mando trick shot. Mando trick shot. Right, uh oh. Man Mando trick shot. You got it. Oh, I said Mando trick shot. I got shot. you for the dub. Oh. Oh, guys, guys. <laughs> Isaac, what happened? So I was walking into the elevator and I had an open cup of coffee and the door closes out of nowhere, <laughs> hits my arm, I smell coffee all over my hand. It's hot, and then I just drop the cup everywhere. <laughs> so when we open the door, there's going to be coffee all over the floor. Hmm. <laughs> all right, we're here at Paiu Yard. There is a little course set up. We are playing with Fastback Seppo Paiu Edition. There's 11 holes. The loser, after 11 holes, has to get in the sauna with as much clothes as possible on. What? <laughs> <laughs> that hit the pole. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I think you have to. No, there's yeah. concrete right there. Yeah, because you lose that. <laughs> Never crossed. Never crossed. Wow. Wow. 
You are three down also, so it's gonna be you. All right. Did you hear that sound? Or are you gonna still hear it? That's the ice cream truck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. No, it's so close. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'd bogey this hole with a real disc anyway. I mean, that's impossible to make. <laughs> that really is. If he makes this, he'll get any disc out of my collection. He's got an amazing collection. <laughs> oh my gosh! That I, was pretty I was good so, effort. I was so excited. <laughs> I thought it was in the oh, whole way. Yeah, it's not me first. I had a three. I had a four. I had a three. Oh yeah. crap, it's me first. <laughs> No, <laughs> the one thing you can't do. <laughs> Any anything not over the rock walls hazard, so this could be very bad. Nice. Wow. Yes. Some gravy chains. <laughs> That's a wild <laughs> strawberry. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it? Yeah, this just that one. The other one's bad. I think it actually tastes pretty good. So I think it's like 150 feet around the tree, just barely that's going over the water and you really have to hook it around it. And if you go water, you gotta play it from there. It's hazard. <laughs> that's very safe. You can put some Annie on it. <laughs> he put Annie on it! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you have to put him from there. I'm not going in there. <laughs> she gets scared. <laughs> for Isaac. Hey! If you want to play with that. Yes. It's been right. in the lake for like a year. All right, well. Whoa, I so just you replaced purple? It. Yeah, what? it used to be purple. That's what mine's gonna look like. <laughs> oh no. Get all the way back in. Oh my God. Inbounds, wow. inbounds. In <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's gonna be a five, if not more. Because that's hazard, and then <laughs> hazard, <laughs> miss the putt, that'll be a six. Isaac called Mando Run? Called Mando Run. All right. Everyone Mando Run? Yeah. All right, you're up first, though. <laughs> Come on. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that looks so promising. Oh my god. So, Isaac and Alden are gonna be. Just a second. We don't know anything yet. <laughs> It hit my wet shirt and just, <laughs> I don't even want to play anymore. What did you play? Uh, I think I shot five. Five. So this is for the win? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shared it. <laughs> well, I was hoping for a relaxing sauna, but it sounds like I'm just going to instead. I have read somewhere that if you wear more clothes in the heat, it actually makes it like better. I looked it up on Google today and it said very, very likely that you will have high heat stress proteins. Sounds like it's healthy. Y'all enjoy. <laughs> Alright, start. Ow! Ah! I honestly can't even feel anything. No, I don't like it again. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Oh, I can't breathe. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I'm sure it does. What if I. <laughs> Alright, five minutes is over. That was miserable. Oh my gosh. Yo, heads up. Okay, good putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <is> OP. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> he doesn't miss. We're here at the Hoover Dam and Ganon is having a real problem right now. He will not stop doing something. This. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> One you, of a hundred. You know, why do you like doing that? My brain just tells me I have to. <laughs> and I can't control it. Just like my urge to just climb on this wall right now. No, Even though it no, says. No, 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 no. Great picture to take your picture on your phone. You gotta stop. We're gonna go left handed this time. Not even worried. For your grandma. <laughs> For your grandma's mom. For your grandmama. Ma. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll Let's put some checkers. My move? Yeah, you're, you're, you're your move first. <laughs> I win, man. What? So guys, for the next part of the tour, we got the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco's finest artwork here. A couple fun facts about this is during the pandemic, they wanted to connect the East Coast over there to the West Coast over here. And to get all the supplies, they went to Amazon, got that nice one, two day shipping, was able to build it a couple days after that. So a fairly, fairly new achievement here in the United States. We're not done, we're not done, we're not done. <laughs> Yo, is somebody standing there? So, seriously, is somebody standing there and I'm gonna throw one at it? It's you don't so, know no, when no, no, gonna no. You're gonna go deaf. Oh no. I'm so scared. Uh. <laughs> 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 we're gonna introduce the scuzzle butt. Some of you may have heard of it by now, but if you haven't, take your most overstable disc. Find low cut grass like a soccer field. What you're gonna wanna do is throw as much spin as you can, as low as you can, as vertical as you can. And then you have to say scuzzle butt. Scuzzle butt. <laughs> okay. That's it. My first attempt ever. Oh, he threw oh. just a spike hyzer. Oh. Scuzzle butt. It's <laughs> <laughs> not how you do it. I followed the rules to you the team. Spike hyzer. You to have to throw team. a vertical <laughs> hyzer. Scuzzle butt. Have you tried to throw it with a straight disc? No, why would you? It's, most, it's the most overstable disc. I've made that very clear. I don't think he said that. Go back in the comments and let him know. I said overstable disc. Let him disc. know. I did. Take your most overstable disc. I'm going to change the grip. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> We've seen that shot before. Scuzzle by. <laughs> Finishing. We're finishing this. I'm gonna align you purposely on the right. Don't try to readjust yourself. No more. Okay, now spin and don't try to readjust yourself and just trust the, the process. Oh, you spun the opposite direction. Wait. Okay. No. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> Worse. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Okay, we're close. We're real close. You can smack the basket. Oh. <laughs> you can't miss this one. L lunge, lunge, lunge. Yes. <sighs> you know exactly where it is, right? Yeah. Okay, spin and make the putt. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, this game sucks. It's, it's, just as, it's just as close. The chance of missing two of those in a row. <laughs> just spin. Spin and, uh, like, just shovel putt it. As I putt, <laughs> you can tap it. You you can touch the basket, and then once you spin, you can't touch it. Spin. Okay. Once you spin, you can't touch it. Yeah, it's right there, buddy. 
Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, there it is. Spin and make the three footer. <laughs> yeah, buddy. This is a classic trick shot here on the pool table, but I like to make the cue ball as well. I miss the cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come do it. You just. You just gotta hit it right here. Oh no, I took geometry. I definitely didn't fail. You go, no. No, 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 I, I, I don't tell me. There's something you tell me. I got, I got it, bro. No, you, you, you do it. You go, boink, 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 up here, roll back down there, make it, and you win a world championship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you make the cue ball and it wins. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever no, seen. Cue no. <laughs> <laughs> <Keep> ball, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, why are you like? No, I got it. Everyone, stop. <laughs> Welcome back to DGN. We are here with the second annual pizza box toss off presented by Little Caesars, sponsored by Domino's. Follow me. This year, we have a bit of a twist 20, 30 feet downhill off the cliff. Today's competitors Bobby, Ezra, and we have Gannon and then Isaac, who's behind the camera. We get one shot. Let's see who's crown champion this year. <laughs> Yo, go further. That's pretty good. I'll be the range guy. Yo, I don't trust Gannon's ranging. 78. <laughs> you can't range it. Yeah. I, I, no, I can go through. Sure, I can go through. <laughs> Surely it's not 20 feet, right? <laughs> 70, 79. No, I don't know. Nah, it's 65. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to go really low with it, a little nose down. Go. Oh. Oh, no. no, that's oh. no. That's not good. 77 feet. Oh. Range finder's broken. Uh, we, that's 78, oh. right? Oh, I had 78. No. Boom. Oh, no. I'm the reigning champ. I need to defend my title. I'm gonna try to do a low Annie skip shot. <laughs> Gotta get the ground play if you want to get the big distance. Oh. Oh. Please. 72 feet. Oh. Yay! That's farther than all. Give me that. I, I win. I, I, I win something. Strange First climbing. event of the year. First win. Gannon just took another big one down. Uh, we actually haven't seen him since he won. Uh, he sent us these coordinates. Are we sure these are the right ones? This is the one he sent me. I don't know. I think this is the whole thing starting to get to his head a little bit. Maybe. But. That, is that him? Over here, guys! Gannon Burr had you back in the winner's seat pretty soon after Memorial. Congrats on the big win. Thank you. Did you find that this win has changed your life in any way? Yeah, I got really into farming, actually. Bought a nice ranch here and got my, my horse. Looks just like me, actually, and uh, looking forward to starting a cattle farm. Uh, so, to the course, how did you, how did you like the tea pads out there? Yeah, they didn't quite sit, suit my boot, my boots very well. My boots, they were kind of slipping on the tee pads. Hopefully they fix that up pretty soon. Hey, settle down, buddy, settle down. And uh, cutting the whole 13 uh, midway through the tournament, that roll away was pretty tough to watch. How did you how did you handle that? Yeah, unfortunately I didn't have my lasso on me. I would have would have wrangled her out up, brought her back up to the basket and probably would have saved a par from there. But unfortunately, bad break on my end. Next time I will have my lasso. Hopefully they let me have that at the Pro Tour. So we noticed last round with three holes left, uh, you had a little caddy changed and Gavin hopped on the bag. What, what was what was the deal with that? Yeah, I had a caddy. Um, he ended up not showing up. Hopefully he just left. It's all right though. He was kind of kind of creeping some people out, giving some weird stares at the camera that I wasn't really playing for. Uh, but you know, Gaddy, Gaddy, Gavin came in clutch. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he definitely did a great job. He he made up for his terrible caddy at Memorial. Speaking of the win, you arguably had your worst putting follow through the Disc Golf Pro Tour has ever seen on hole 18 for the win and decided not to lay it up. Please explain. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say they blinked and they thought it was magic because my hand was back here. Couldn't even see the follow through. Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was a close enough put I could actually make it. You know, didn't need my lasso on that one. That one definitely wasn't rolling because it was right in the bottom of the bucket. Easy win for me. 
looking forward to this. So with the money I won, I ended up buying a ranch, got this here horse, my best buddy. And uh, yeah, looking forward to my new lifestyle from now on. This <laughs> has been a tradition since 2013 to come and throw from here. First one ever to make it was Steve Brinster. You have to like put it really low. <laughs> oh, I thought you had it. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so weird. I've never thrown it this quick. Oh. <laughs> Skip in. Skip in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great bid. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. First hit. Metal. That's pretty good. Oh, my God. That's so bad. <laughs> Oh. No! <laughs> oh so God. close! All right, after everyone threw their entire bags, we only got a couple couple metal hits, but we're back for round two. Go, go. Just tell me. Oh, did you make you it? Did it? Let's go. That's so cool to know that only me and Steve Burns have ever made it, and that was ten years ago. Uh, he was the first he one to make it. No, he was the only one. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh! Pretty cool that me, Isaac, and Steve are the only ones to make this shot. Ezra has never made it. I actually do it back to back. Oh. Okay, that was close. That was close. Yeah, like, yeah that's that's and, exactly up. the right spot. Up and left. Yeah. Up, 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 left. No, the other left. Other left. Up. Left. You're right. Go left. Way left. Up a little bit. Then a tiny bit left. There you go. <laughs> It's amazing. Put this on. <laughs> All right, we're here with Calvin Heimberg. Calvin, you had a ripping start out there. You were six down through seven. Uh, kept the pace going. You had a bogey on 13. What happened out there? Um, I mean, I threw my drive and it went in the bunker. Um, and I, I just didn't make a putt. So. All right, and then it looks like you went three for four to finish. And uh, what what are you gonna take into tomorrow? Three to three out of four was pretty good. Um. I don't know. I guess I just want to keep the momentum going from today's round and tomorrow. And I think I'm like two shots off the lead. So feeling pretty good going into tomorrow. All right, Calvin, Heim Calvin Heimberg, ladies and gentlemen. All right, obstacle course time. Alden, Isaac, Gannon, myself. We have rules set up for each station. All the way through there, time ends when you touch a tee pad. Loser has to eat half of the super hot little nitro gummy bear. Let's see who wins. 70% chance of death with eating it, so... Gannon's losing. There's no way it fits through the holes. Three, two, one, go. So looking at the Scoville scale, pepper spray is 5,300,000 Scoville units. Lil Nitro is 9 million. So it's like drinking pepper spray. <laughs> or eating four Carolina Reapers. All in a cute little gummy bear. Uh, I'm, not I'm not gonna need it. I'm not gonna need okay. it. Okay, okay. Just need it. Well, this is for me then. <laughs> so after further review, it looks like Ganon beat me by one second. I think it was the disadvantage of going first. Everyone just knew what to do. So we have the little Nitro. We agreed to eat half of it. Where's the knife? Hey, make sure it's an even cut. It's an even cut, it's an even cut. I'm so scared. I've like never had anything hot. <laughs> oh, this is a great way to start. Three, two, chew. one, go. Say no chew. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Is it down? No, I can't. I can't swallow it. I can't swallow it. I can't. Yes, you can. I cannot swallow it. Yes, you can. Do it. You can't or you won't. I can't. I'm gonna die. No, you won't. I, ha I can't swallow it. Yes, you, have. you have to swallow it. That's the part of the deal. I can't swallow it. Just swallow it and it'll be over. So I can't swallow it. I can't physically swallow it. I think I'd throw up. Just don't. Just don't spit it out, man. <laughs> don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your eyes. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> you're, you're, it's, yeah. Almost, it's almost worse. You're just holding it in your mouth. Okay, it's down. It's down. It's down. <laughs> That's cheating. This is the worst thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> why, why is his face so red? Good, good luck shooting. Worst day of my life. <laughs> good luck shooting good tomorrow. It's so bad it won't go away. <laughs> I want to have just the slightest amount. Oh my god. Edit. Yeah, do not touch your eyes. Yeah, just eat it. It probably won't be anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am in so much pain because he weighs a thousand pounds. I was trying to pull myself back towards my side. And it was impossible. And it just was impossible. <laughs> yeah, man, so how, how dangerous was that leaf? <laughs> Going into the hole, I was like, all right, just birdie this, and then, you know, you can move on. But little did I know that my life was in the balance. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I stopped. Good Lord. I, it was it was a 50-50 life or death moment, for sure. Don't want any tricks? No. I gotta crash into a wall. You got any tricks, Ida? Mm-hmm. Can I see them? No. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> other way. Hey, you better go. You can get close to Alden without hitting him. Why that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you almost killed me. <laughs> Just imagine if your scooter starts circling YouTube and nobody on it. <laughs> Why are you here? I work here. Can you explain to us why our flight is delayed four times? It's actually why I'm here today. I have bad news. Been here for about five hours. Flight was canceled after sitting there. It was delayed over and over again until it was finally canceled. So it looks like we're uh, likely headed back to Gannon's just as we finally said goodbye to him. Alden, you guys are back. How was Europe? How was Europe, guys? <laughs> got any souvenirs? Got any videos? Like, did you meet all the European disc golfers? Like, how to go, guys? Is there still time for me to go? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Smoothie King. What can I blend for you guys? We, we're actually coming in for Isaac. Is he around? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the back. You want me to get him? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Absolutely, yeah. I'll be right back. What's up, guys? I didn't know you were going to be here. Is this a is this good time for interview? This is fine, yeah. It's kind of a slow day today, so we've got plenty of time. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll get right into it. So, first, congrats on the big win. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how, how's it feel? You know, I didn't have a lot of time to celebrate just because I had to get back to work. Um, we've got to make that money stay on the road. So, you know, called into work uh, the day after the tournament and been here ever since. How did you not birdie hole one? You're 40 under for the tournament. Yeah. Um, actually, I have to do something over here. You want to walk and talk with me? Yeah. So, so again, how did, how did you not get a single birdie on hole one all weekend? Yeah, that's, I mean, a lot of people think that's the easiest hole. Um, it just wasn't clicking. For me, it was actually one of the harder ones. You know, mistakes were made, and I, I can improve on that. I had to leave something to improve on next year, so. So you peered hole 17 the first three rounds. Uh, but how do you not keep that up for the final round? Yeah, we actually just picked up. We're getting really busy. I got to do some things. But, you know, Alden really just, he, I saw he got an eagle on it. I was really jealous of his shot, and I knew that I couldn't replicate that shot, and it just got in my head. So it was just one of those things where I just didn't, I wasn't focused on a hole, and I ended up screwing that hole up big time. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive to win a major by five strokes, but like, how do you feel about your play? Yeah. Come on. Dude, get on, get on my head. Um, so winning by five strokes, you know, a lot of I was kind of emotional towards the end, and a lot of people thought that because I was so happy. Um, but I was actually really disappointed. I knew that I'd let my fan base down, I let my family down. You know, I wanted to win by double digits, and it was just really emotional that I didn't. And I just it's something I'll look back on and just wish that I had. So yeah, it was you know it was kind of a, a bit of a rough time. You know, even 
winning the tournament was good, but you know, not having that dominant performance like I wanted to really left me feeling like I could have done more. Dude, we are slammed out there. I can't take it. It's way too busy. It's way too freaking short for me. I'm out. First Ganon, then Silas, now Ezra. It's the freaking third one today. Hi, welcome to Smoothie King. What can I get for you? So, you had the miracle kick on hole five. If you didn't get that kick, it may have been the five stroke swing Eagle needed to beat you at the end. What, what are your thoughts on that? It was a lucky kick. I thought it was a perfect shot, but you know, I think if I hadn't gotten that kick, the whole round would have just been. Yes. You want strawberry? Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, if I hadn't gotten that tree kick, the whole round would have just been straight downhill and not a, ch not a chance. Yeah, I can I can get you a banana in there. You want two bananas in there? Yeah, I can, I can sneak another one in there for you. Yeah. yeah. Can I help you guys anything else? Sorry, I was talking to this guy, not you guys. Yeah, that would be twenty-seven forty-five at the window. Would you like to leave a ten-dollar tip? Perfect. That's much appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah. So total is thirty-seven forty-five for a large shake and two bananas. Two. I got. You. I got you. All right. I'll see you up there. Yeah. So after your victory, friends are all happy for you, celebrating. Get the water on you. What are your feelings on that? Are you mad? Happy? I was a little mad. Usually water is like a big celebration thing, and this time, you know, it was boiling water. So I was a little upset that they chose that um, instead of usually dumping cold water. Um, I have to get back to work. It is so busy. How, how did you guys even get back here? What in the world? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh! oh. Ricky is a loser. <laughs> See, they're sitting, they're facing the front of their boat like you should be. Well, we were doing that, and then we saw you guys doing that. We're like, that kind of looks easier. This does not feel easier. We're just gonna. I wish I brought a short paddle. Check my juices. How are they struggling? Again, <laughs> we're going backwards. Please paddle forwards. In. What kind of cruel, sick joke is the world playing on today? Yeah, okay, give me the paddle. I'll do it. No, get out no, of the no, way. No, no, I'm I'll doing do it. it. I'm, I'm already doing it. Alright, I'm gonna do it too. No, you're not. <laughs> Put it in. Put it in. Did you lose something there? I don't know if these are... Are they, are they the right length? Alden doesn't pay me for this. I'm stuck on the stupid... Stuck on... Oh, <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. We are grinding. Finally made it. We're gonna get put on the brakes. Tied around a tree. What's up, buddy? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's <laughs> no. He's going to the wrong island. <laughs> oh, man, he's not coming anywhere. <laughs> Answer the phone. Answer the phone, Gavin. Come on. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Gavin, you're at the wrong island, man. <laughs> He's been wrong. He's not going anywhere. All right, bye, Gavin. I, I know you're going to be mad when you hear this. All right, I think we need to go to him. Hey, um, that's the, <laughs> that's the wrong island. What do you mean that's the wrong island? We're on the island past that one. <laughs> Why would you? Because it looked better. But we can come to you. We can paddle to you guys. That would be tremendous. I wonder why we're struggling so much to go. Cost some to do with this 20 pound weight. Hey, drop it in the boat. How heavy is that thing? And maybe it's just dragging on the ground whenever we're in a shallow enough spot and it's just digging up stuff the whole time. It's, it's normal for your shoulders to just be absolutely on fire after a casual rowboat, right? It's normal to paddle as hard as you can and go backwards because it's pretty not going anywhere. This is stuck to the ground. When Ganon was single-handedly going like four times as fast as you guys, I was like, wow, they're really oh, struggling. Oh. Oh, oh, that's gonna stab you off. Oh, oh, what was that? Ganon, what is that thing? 
Who's just on yeah, me? I should be able to one hand just. It's called a spider. Because we were just watching. I'm like, just... everything is just dead. I was like, as hard as I could, hours it and felt he, like. And he was only able to do that because I jumped overboard and it was only him in the boat. With both of us, we weren't moving at all. When did you jump out? You jumped out probably close to those canoes over there. Yeah. And I go to just like pull the boat to me with the rope and I un I feel like, wow, it's like, it's not moving. And then I just pull it up and it's just covered in dirt. And uh, I was like, hey, Gavin, you think this has something to do with why we're not going anywhere? Gavin, all the posted that the player stores were going up Friday. Which they are. But he thought today was Thursday. So he says, player store is going up tomorrow. And I responded to his story and I said, me too, I can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday. And he's like, oh, I'm such a moron. And he quickly changes it. I go into his Facebook post. I said, I can't wait for tomorrow. And he commented on his, on his Facebook post. Well, he changed it at like the exact same second. So now everyone thinks I made the mistake. <laughs> and I just look like a moron. Because I commented, I was like, look at the post, it says Friday. And so then I look stupid and everybody's <laughs> laughing at me and thinks Alden is super funny. <laughs> Tomorrow's not Friday. <laughs> exactly, but he wouldn't have known if I hadn't told him. No, you need a coin. You need a, like, a, I don't have any of those kinds of coins, though. Well, how do we get a coin? Not... Oh, thank, thank you so much. You. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about Finland is the shopping carts. Oh, did you say something? Look at that. Isaac, Ezra, Alden. Make sure the world ranking is updated. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely like waiting for like 30 people to, uh, or not 30, three people on the card to. What are you doing? Gosh. That was a stupid video over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gavin, Gavin's over here sitting down and he's like doing this. And all it's filming him like he's the one talking. <laughs> Don't spoil his videos here now. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just take this as a nice and slow process. It feels, my socks are like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in some moss right now. I feel like. Socks. Oh my god. I'm out. You want me to go first? I was gonna fist bump you. You're in the face. I'm gonna do a little forehand, one fingy like Gavin. I'll just kind of clean. Let me just lay this up real quick. <laughs> Sit. Get me out of here. Yes! Oh, what? Oh no. Oh, nice jump putt. See you later. This is so bad! <laughs> Money. Wait, what was happening? Oh, okay, I'm good. You better not be cheating. Better not just be walking. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> No! Yeah. You're such a cheater. All right, I'm still up I for deserved you can, it. You can yeah, you can cheat all you want. Oh, right, you're up, buddy. Are you kidding me? You blocked it! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that. That's so dumb. Yo, Stop. Stop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. This is so dumb. Yo. Yo. Stop. Get man. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a shot. No, that's so good. Go ahead, make your tap in. What are you doing? I'm just getting my run up set. Stop cheating. I'm literally hitting <laughs> objects in my a Cheater. <laughs> Yo, let's go. That's what so you dumb. Him? That is so dumb. Whole 16 of important country. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Sit. What? Safe. That's in? Yeah, yeah it's plenty safe. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to throw before you block it. Oh <laughs> no, go out of bounds. Oh wow, go ahead. I'll, I'll go first, I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, you can go first. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> far. <laughs> the hole is 30 Wait, feet. Is Yo. Oh, it's perfect. Yes! <laughs> no, stop! 
<laughs> How is that allowed? Uh oh. Oh shoot. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> no. No. Stop. No. I'm like running in my house. <laughs> I'm eight ahead now. <laughs> the biggest cheater ever, and you're still eight back. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I like broke my hand. <laughs> I punched my treadmill. <laughs> oh, what you? Oh, what you? Please, just let me throw. I'm gonna scuba it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see the uh. Stop. Oh. No. no. Yes. No. <laughs> What's the score? What's the score? Oh, I'm two ahead. Oh, you going? Where's the Oh, it's pad? perfect. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> get him, get him. Oh, get in! No, 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 no! Yes, get down! Yes! No, no! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! No! Alright, wait, wait, let's take a breather. Let's take a breather. Don't go yet. <laughs> oh, no! My drive on nine got stuck on the mountain, so we're doing a sudden death. Playoff starting on one. Let's keep it clean, keep it civil. Uh, do you need to go first? Uh, sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, I parked it. No, no you didn't. No. You no. Didn't. What are you doing? Just go. No, 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 no. Stop. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. How did you catch it? Is that <laughs> what? Come on. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> Yes! You're so bad! <laughs> You're so out of breath. <laughs> Come on, give me some nuts. Ow! Do we need a key? Why is there no way out? I just got done with this commentary and we cannot find a way out of this building. There's no way you need a key to get out, right? <laughs> You're all like such morons. <laughs> you just pressed the right button. The oh. right, the right button? But you had to go with the car. Well, we have a... The car is on the street. <laughs> I'm coming, guys. Great. <laughs> this one. Oh. oh. I need the other one. How's everyone feeling? About to go for the bathroom for the 80th time. <laughs> that's that's been our biggest problem. <laughs> it's not Ooh. sketchy at all. Yeah, it's not cracked up here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 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 He, he literally just broke the slide. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Again, you gotta do one more. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get impaled. Sucks. I only carried four. <laughs> help! 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 Just drop it. Just drop it. <laughs> it was so heavy. Dude, the, the top box is all drivers. <laughs> Last year in Vegas, Gannon obviously had a breakout performance coming in second place behind Drew Gibson in the playoff. The most impressive part about that performance is was round one. No one even really got to see it because it wasn't on like a super well-known coverage, but uh, he was able to fight back through a really, really bad hole and come back and tie it up. So Yeah, man, it was, it was rough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it because it, it was a journey to go through that, man. That was crazy. Yeah, so we'll play that now. Hello and welcome to Back 9 coverage here at the 2022 LVC. We are here on hole 10, par 3, 381 with the bunker right in front of the basket. The basket just perched up on top of that ridge. Such a difficult par 3 to attack. I was actually playing in this group on the front 9, but I got a ripping headache. I just had to head back to the clubhouse, so my cast streak is done. Gannon is on fire 10 under through 9. All in just a little bit short here. Not the worst result, really. He's going to have a reasonable chance to save his par from there. And Isaac was having just a tough day in that front nine. Seven over, a lot of bogeys. Throws this layup, which makes sense. You don't really need to mess with this hole. Gannon, one ahead of perfect. Can he keep it going? This is on a... Great line, ace run, 
just a little long. I don't even know why he's hanging his head. It's just a little long, maybe back to the OB. It did go OB, I think. Great run from Isaac. That'll sit close. Easy par. This to save par for Gannon. Oh, and he catches a branch out of the hand that's in the hazard. This for double bogey. And he whiffs that off the right side. Chains. Alden's up next. Gannon's going to regret this hole. Alden with a nice committed putt from the bottom of the bunker. Just zips that in. Beautiful. Great save. This for six. And he bounces hazard. For eight, off the right side, and does that roll? Surely he'll have the nine. Low. This tracking for, no, not in the sand, okay. For a 10, full air ball. Putting 11, and that skips off the chains. He stays safe. The 12th putt is low and a little roll away. Nerves have got to be an issue now. This is hard to watch. What a start. Just, oh, the frustration. He takes that shot so quickly. And just nose down on the effort there. I'm starting to lose count. Finally, oh, why? And into the hazard. I thought it was over. Low again from Burr. This is one of the worst holes we've ever seen on the tour. And he fires that through the chains. This is a meltdown. Over the basket. Over the hazard. And now in for a 21 octo de supple bogey. Again, and Burr goes from... 17 ahead of Robinson to enter the hole, and now he's staring at a one-shot deficit. I have never seen anything quite like that. Feel for the young man. We're out at Scarewinds. We're gonna go find Gannon. It's gonna be a fun night. He's terrified of like everything. Should be a fun time. If I die, I will keep my spot for Vino. <laughs> to play tomorrow. Yes. I can't wait to not go in any of the houses. <laughs> Yo, keep me in the middle, keep me in the middle, man. I'm not letting go of it for the rest of the night. Shot. <laughs> gonna make it, Slavok? No chance. <laughs> Good try. Moral of the story is ask what the rules are before you get scammed. <laughs> the bigger the better. Yeah. Do you think like like this black color? This is olive tree. They definitely are pretty firm still, so I don't think they're ripe all the way, but it's not like <laughs> dangerous or anything. <laughs> all right, it's a fresh olive. Whew, that's not ripe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should try it. And then it just doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Unedible. Oh, had to pee since like whole nine. Is anyone in there? Get out! Home tub advantage. I gotta go next and defend home tub right here. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Dude, the head under is what does it? Oh. I know. I was gonna. I get, I get ear infections easily Dude, with okay. my cauliflower ear. That's a cool excuse. And so. <laughs> Are you gonna go all three minutes? I'm gonna go three minutes, yeah. Gannon won't. Alright, minute and a half left. Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh. No way, he's right. There's like a jet that blows cold air right on you. Yeah, cold air. <laughs> cold, shut up, I can't think straight. Oh, I get one more dunk. Oh my gosh. You gotta dunk your head, Gannon, otherwise you don't do it right. That's part of the ice tub rules. I make the rules, it's home tub. Spill all the water. Oh. All right, Gannon, you can hold your rubber ducky since you're gonna need all the help you can get. Oh. Alrighty, can I pee first? Yeah, I'm gonna pee down. All right, Gannon, I'm gonna put this topper on because I know you're gonna wanna get out. Oh. <laughs> I don't want the stupid duck. Yeah, you want a duck? <laughs> Come on, rubber duck. Exactly. I can't do it. Come on. Like, I can't breathe if you do that. We're <laughs> going a minute and a half. Minute and a half is the worst. It's warming up. You're cheating. That's because we're heating up. Yeah. It's because we're keeping cheating. <laughs> <laughs> 
This can't be allowed! <laughs> okay, check this out. Okay, so we're here with Gannon Burr, uh, about to throw out the first pitch. How are you feeling right now? I think 14-year-old uh, Gannon's going to be real disappointed whenever 18-year-old Gannon doesn't clear the wall. Okay, so what angle are you throwing and what disc? Let's see. Uh, let me just read the wind. 800 mile per hour headwind. I'm going to go with my stable D2, I think. I've never thrown it before. Okay, so on a scale of a C tier to USDGC, how nervous are you right now? This is much more than anything I've ever done. <laughs> this is bigger pressure than I think any human has ever experienced in life. It's is all the nerves just coming from knowing that all of these people in the stands have come just to watch you? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, all 20 people here are... <laughs> Look at that guy, so precise. I love baseball. <laughs> I so bad. My back foot was like... I'm here with Gavin. We found out where Gannon is staying this week. He just took it down. Memorial champ. Um, this, yeah, this, this should be it. We catch you at a good time? Not really, but come on, man. It's fine. Gannon Burr, Gavin Babcock here. Great to have you back in the hot seat, and congrats on your big win at Memorial. How's, it, how's it feel? Yeah, that, that comeback was really insane and you know being down 10 strokes with only two rounds to play and making up those strokes is just, it's kind of unheard of at that level. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, move on from that and move, use that momentum moving forward. Gavin had stayed to caddy that final round for you. Do you think anything had gone different? I don't think so. He's he's not the best caddy. He gets He's short-tempered, so he loses his marbles pretty quick and you don't want to mess with the guy that loses his marbles. And um, yeah, I think that's it can hurt your play like if you're in a negative mind space like it's just not good for you man and Gavin's, Gavin sometimes just brings that negative energy that I don't want to have but you know sometimes it's cool so uh yeah it kind of just depends on uh you know what he's feeling in the time and how it's going to affect my play moving forward very interesting well thank you for your time Gannon and hope you have a wonderful day <laughs> all right we just got done eating some waffle house We're on our way to the the state fair is it we're on the way to the state fair. We're, we're gonna, gonna go there. Road. We're crossing the road, not looking for cars. <laughs> All right, was, that was that believable? It's also yeah, not I, a state fair. Isaac's, it's a county fair. Isaac. All right, guys, we're at the state fair. Pretty much right next to Idlewild. Gonna go hit up some rides. And um, yeah, Isaac was not looking forward to coming here, but we're gonna win some of the biggest stuffed animals you've ever seen. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> It just tore! Okay, I don't know if I can tie this. Oh, just a little repair job. Alright man, we're fine. Nothing happened here, no destruction, don't worry about it, we're good. Guys, I have zoomies right now. <laughs> we're approaching people so I have to act normal. Even though 45,000 people are going to see this video. We're going on that. Me and Isaac, we're going on that. And yeah, the funny thing is, is like, you always see those videos about freak accidents happening. Being with these like, really weird county fairs. It's going to be us today. We're going to have Ezra edit this video. Because me, Alden, Isaac will not be alive. Uh, we're gonna calculate the weight of this thing. I'm gonna say about 70,000 pounds. Here we have a good, a good surface. We got a good, nice, nice, safe, stable base. It won't fly off. It never will fly off, ever. Surely there's somebody running this ride because I don't see a single employee anywhere in sight. All right, guys. So I kind of did the calculations of. The chances of dying in a ride and it's very low you really shouldn't be concerned about this as my butt comes off the seat i showed you guys how stable the base was so we've had an ongoing debate within the group of what an ace is Gannon's had a couple of shots that we don't really think are aces, he thinks are aces and i just hit maybe the greatest ace i'll ever hit in my life we're gonna try to convince Gannon that Alden's ace does not count as an ace. And we're just gonna make up some ridiculous rules. I think we're gonna say because there's no ace pot, which is the dumbest thing ever. Obviously we don't believe that. We're gonna see how Maddie gets. Gavin, we have a, we have an argument. Alden, oh, no. sa Alden says his shot yesterday wasn't an ace because it wasn't an ace pot. There wasn't an ace pot. 
So why would it be an A? It's the dumbest thing in the world. How dumb is that? If you make it from the T to the basket on your first try, not your second try, your first shot only, it counts. It has to be in a round with an ace pot. So 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 what it's what it, what it's worth is like if it's worth something then it matters if it's an ace or not. Yes. That that's not how that works. Literally, everyone in the comments, if this actually gets in the video, you you're no one's gonna agree with you. Why? It's an ace pot. An ace pot. If there's no pot for the ace, we take off that word and it's just an ace. But if you don't think it's an ace, let's go gladly add another stroke to your score. <laughs> the ace the ace comes first, the pot is after. So the ace is always a thing. Um, you didn't get paid out at Maple Hill last year, did you? No, that wasn't an ace. You were calling it an ace that weekend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! 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 Unless you get 10 G's, baby! This is so wrong. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm going live on Instagram right now. The debate is going to start now. Alden over here, if you guys didn't see already. Ace hole 15. At uh, the open at Austin. He's saying it's not an ace because there was no ace pot. So we need your guys' opinion. Was it an ace? Because Alden is saying it's not an ace unless there's an ace pot and it has to be in a round. Where in my opinion, in every normal person's opinion, it has to be first shot from a tee to a basket. Oh, we'll see. One, not a single person says it's not an ace. <laughs> see? There's there's someone who says no ace. Yeah, it's Silas Schultz. <laughs> there's a couple other people. There's like three other people. <laughs> If you hit back-to-back -back aces, it's a par. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably 12. And I have a little air mattress. Go to lay in my bed to go to sleep, and it's soaked. This is my blanket that now weighs eight pounds because it's soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> and my first thought is like, oh, Ganon jumped in the pool and then laid in my bed. And I talked to him, I was like, Ganon, what on earth? Why is my bed soaked? It's like, I have no idea. I go and like look around my bed. All underneath my bed is wet. Why? What happened? Garbage. Open suitcase right next to my bed, not not wet at all. But the ground and my bed are soaked. Like someone literally just poured water all over it. <laughs> Whatever, I I'm, I can't solve this mystery, but I'm just gonna go get a blanket. And so I come downstairs and I ask the guy like, hey, can I get a blanket? And he's like, no, we actually don't have any. No, bl no blankets in the entire hotel. And I was like, Gannon, can I please just have one of your sheets? And he was like, no, I can't give you one of my sheets, man. And I was like, why? <laughs> we find out the next morning, they were pressure washing the side of the building and there was a crack in the window. <laughs> just poured water all over my bed so now i have this I guys we're trapped ah! in the room right now there's a psychopath trying to kill us we're in a yeah! hey, it's okay buddy it's okay hey hey i'm gonna be okay get it see you later y'all get it no get it it's fine it's safe it's safe i can't do this no. you're an adult get it you're an adult you got this oh i don't mind seeing oh we gotta connect these oh can we oh, do we do. Gannon, you could probably just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gannon, you take it. Um, and um, um, you got it. My arm's gonna get chopped off. This looks no, you're good. Oh, yeah. Zero, two, nine. We'll just oh, try all the different try. ways. Our first murder Oh my gosh! What's happening right now, man? You okay, man? You okay? Oh Insane. Insane. In the what the hell yeah, I'm just so insane. Oh, what's this? Oh, Gannon, oh, let's go. Gannon, do it. Yeah. Let Gannon do it. Oh, Gannon, okay, do it. Ah! Oh! oh Gannon, it's fine. <laughs> 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 How did you go? You guys are. Ah! <laughs> we got another weapon. Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh get me out of here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh no, I won't be here. I won't be here. <laughs> I can't do this no more. Oh my god! Breathe, breathe, breathe. Feel something Some, biting. Some, 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 biting. Something just bit me. <laughs> what is up, guys? We are here at the Washington Challenge Open, Champions Cup Challenge Open. Pool one here is a very, very tough par five. Obviously, about 100 feet in elevation drop, starting off from the tee pad. Moving down the waterfall, it's gonna be a little bit of a tight gap off the tee. As we go down the waterfall, we're thrown to a pool of water. It's all inbounds. There's no out of bounds on this on this course right here. The basket is then tucked away down to the right behind a few trees and a couple of logs. This hole is gonna play as probably the toughest hole in the course. So you're gonna to wanna to get your par and get out of here. Oh, 
go last. I got another one. <laughs> oh, provisional. Uh, oh my gosh, it's even worse. Not what better. just happened to it? Oh no. You have to Third go more provisional. Left. More left. I got it. <laughs> oh gosh, that's too far left. No, you're right in the middle. I didn't see it. <laughs> Why would you throw it? Because I can't jump on it. Is that it? Because yeah. Isaac threw them all? I told you I wanted to save another one. Well, we do we have a drop back. zone? Okay, for the players, <laughs> that's minis are not retrievable. <laughs> the drop zone is the deepest point in the water. <laughs> all right. Shot two. All right, I can't feel anything. Par five, second shot. We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to get the eagle here. All right, I have no idea where my disc went, so I gotta go from the <laughs> from the deepest part, as I think Ganon made the rule. A oh, nice little turnover. Ah! It's not bad. It's really not that bad. Long drive of the group. Thanks, Kyle. Oh, that flipped right out. No. <laughs> If that sits, I got like a 40 footer. I got a blind shot to the pin, and I'm gonna be pulling out my mid range. Got a circle three bid. Just put some pressure on Gannon. Oh. All right, this goes underneath the log, so rule of verticality. It's been a long day, fell off a cliff. But rule of verticality, what? This is, this is for the win. Here we go. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Gavin, interview. Come on. That is so messed up. So, how does it feel to win the the waterfall open cup challenge? Feels a uh, feels amazing, man. I it was a hard fought battle the whole time. You know, just one of the toughest tournaments to win because there's so many holes. Interview after one hole is pretty interesting, but I'll sure I'll see you after hole two. For sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> is this important to you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, you're in President's Cup today. That's a really big success, and hopefully you have some success. What is your plan going into the day? Uh, I really don't want to lose. Uh, the U.S. has won this tournament since the dawn of time. The team is looking really, really good. Uh, there's a lot of really good people. Not sure why I'm on there. If we somehow lose when I first get on the team, that's going to be probably the most humiliating thing I've ever seen. Ever done. Can't wait to see him open up that bottle of champagne. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because if we win, I've never done that before. I've never opened champagne, so hopefully it's not a disaster. Hopefully we get to open champagne and win. I'm a little nervous. All right, good luck. Okay, right now we're getting whooped just a little bit. Nicholas, oh, in the basket, 49 feet, Chris. That was big. Nicholas is putting for bogey. Take that. 15, 13 right now. Let's so go. two points. Take that, America. <laughs> I think I think we'll be good match play. You were sir. Easy. You know, we will just load our guns and www. <laughs> what can you do after that? Nothing. The pressure's never been greater on Team US. Every year they win, the next year they play, it gets a little bit harder. They've been doing this for 17 years, 10 times, undefeated. Now Isaac Robinson joins the team, all of a sudden we start struggling. Unbelievable. And predictable, somehow at the same time. <laughs> Oh, Yo! Hey! All I had to do was talk a little crap. Let's go, Ozzy. <laughs> Now I need a shower because I'm so sticky. 
Team USA held on for a tight one there. I think they won by two points, but all it took was Isaac making one more mistake. US would have lost. So once again, I put this on Isaac Robinson's shoulders here. He carried us to the victory, but he very easily could have stumbled us to a, a, our very first loss. So I, well, I want to say hats off, but I also want to say you, you barely did it. What he had, he only birdied like seven of the front nine. And he left some out there. Yeah, so that's unacceptable for the president's cup. You got to bring it. But in the end, <sighs> victorious. How's it going? Good. How are you having fun today? Terrible. Yeah. Just taking a nice relaxing sit in this chair. Dude, absolutely. It's embarrassment that you face the red. It's okay. You should. I'm so sorry. Hey, can I get 10 walking tacos? But I don't want any meat, cheese, sour cream, or chips. That, I'm not kidding. So you just want lettuce? Yeah, just put the lettuce in the bag. So you want me to take all the Doritos and dump them out and just put lettuce in them? <laughs> yeah. For 10 of them. Anything else? Uh, that's it. 3670. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he literally explained what he was going to have to do. So you're telling me you really want us to open the bags so up, yeah. drop the chips out, and just put it in lettuce, and y'all are going to pay $4 for each Yeah. Uh, I, I, I want a salad, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, I can't wait for, can't wait for my salad. <laughs> I'm just gonna waste so many Doritos. I'm gonna open up, dump the Doritos out. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, Have a good one. Oh, let's go. I got my 10 bags of lettuce. Why is it so lightweight? <laughs> no! That's like a $4 piece of lettuce. This right here. It was $4? <laughs> Apparently we got four more in here. I thought we were all done. I thought that was more than ten. Yeah, there's four in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got scammed. The game's one. Whoa! Jeez! Get out of here. We don't want that. Yeah, I went to the game. Doesn't eat healthy. I was. They're, they're wrong. Best salad I've ever had. Has five discs for 40 bucks. Is that, is that fine? That's the worst deal of all time. Whammo! From USA, Isaac Robinson! Wait, what if we put it under the logs? Under the logs. Ooh. <laughs> I want to go your way now. It's so stressful. <laughs> <laughs> the other way. Bye. <laughs> that was so good. That was almost the best I could have thrown it. And now it's gone forever. So the cursor is on the sweet spot in the chains, right? Yep. Okay, so I could make it. Yeah. You give me a Slazinger? You want a Slazinger or you want a Super Range? I took the Super Range. I'll take the Range Ball. Give me a Slazinger. I, I thought I was giving you the nice one. I gave you the freaking, I don't want the, the raw want, distance three. I want to be the complete underdog. I, we obviously play a lot of golf. Uh, froth Balf, as I call it. Froth on golf courses. Often looking for the little balfs around the course to throw at the little ball holes. And then usually we just turn it into a CTP action and then something's on the line. I don't know if it's on the line right now. We got drinks on the line for the round already. We're just, everything is on the line. Everything's on the line. Everything's on the line. Everything's on the line. Everything. <laughs> okay. That thing moved more than I thought it would. I thought it was going to stick right next to the pin, but that's still going to be tough to beat. Well, he gave me a super range and oh, he took the skill. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Look at this. What, what is this? <laughs> Mine's inspired by the USA men's national soccer team. Of course. Oh, wow. Of course. Hi. We're playing frothball. You're like an Easter egg. Dude, yeah, that is. You are Easter He's egg. matching his Easter egg with his bag. Is this like wool? Dude, it's too hot. It looks really hot. Yeah, it Literally looks really hot. Literally the last outfit. I did laundry, made it to my tea time. This is the last outfit I had. Everyone off my back, I'm matched. It's not even getting close to it. Oh my god, it actually is. 
Evan here decided to ruin all my fun. He just grabs and snaps it on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to make it more stable. Exactly! You just put some effort into that. I just kind of bent it on my side. There's gonna be Obama, right? So what just happened? Yo, um, a little forehand ace. Uh, Alden was about to record it not correct, so I had Isaac record it. And uh, I don't even know if it could hit the basket any softer. I'm not even sure if it hit any chains. <laughs> Yo, we're going to the movies. We gotta, gotta get stuck. Howdy, partner. Let's go to the movies, man. Go to the movies. <laughs> Yeah, we just have a little uh, weird conditions out here. We have a little first ever wind delay, so we're just gonna play the pitch. <laughs> Man, that was a battle out there. Just fished my round. See, they had like three snacks. One, another one, just a couple fruit snacks. Hmm, let's check this side right here. I get stuck up there. The reason why they're not getting it is because they're not going full smash. Oh no. Oh! 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 So I got double caddy duty tomorrow. We're gonna test it out tonight. There we go. There we go. Got your disc. Got did, you, did you get a disc? Well, I, I, I didn't feel like I did. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I need to, I need to grab a disc. I'll right, just grab a disc real quick. All right, got it, got what I wanted. Nice. There we go. All right, let's put it back. All right. Good form. What is that? Hey, Graham. And he's What's got that? this thing moving. Um, the first shot. What is Isaac Ryan's back? Whoa! Isaac Robinson, MVP. What is that form, <laughs> man? Look at what all did. <laughs> Oh, it looks so nose up. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nose up out here. Make his birdie. Easy tapping. He's nervous playing with the Robinsons. I'm a boat cannon in the back of the back with this. Ow, no more of that. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I did him like flying away. Just one more question here. We hope you have an excellent weekend. Thank you. Hi Isaac, uh, Gavin Babcock here. Real quick, bet you're pretty happy with the switch up on hole 12's green. No more slippage inc incidents, hopefully? Yes, I'm glad they made that change specifically for me um, because I almost got really hurt. And so I'm glad they were looking out for my safety on that green. So I, I approve the, the change. Awesome, and considering you got super lucky with your win here last year, what have you been doing to rebuild up your luck for this year's Idaho Wild Tournament? Oh man, uh, you know, lots of lots of good things. You got to recharge that luck every now and then. So, uh, you know, yeah, we got nothing. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, and may the luck be on your side. You will need it. Thank you, Gavin. Sorry. I will not be seeing that movie.